One of the first questions you're going to have to answer when you use Typeform is, how big is your basket? How many questions do you have? How many things do you want to learn from how many people? Because those are all going to influence your choice of which version of Typeform you use. Now, you've got a few different choices. Number one, there is the basic plan. That's the one you start with by default. Number two, there's something called the Pro plan. And three, there's the Pro Plus plan. One of the most significant differences between these is the price. The basic plan is free. It's what you get when you start. You don't even have to sign up. You can just start using it. Pro is $35 a month and Pro Plus is $70 a month. I'm going to talk a little bit more about the features that distinguish these and why you might want to choose one over the other. But let's start with the small basket. Let's start with basic. The basic free plan includes things like templates and it includes answer piping where you can take the answer from one question and feed it into the text of another question. It includes self notification emails. That means that you, the person who designs the form, can get emails when people respond to it. You can also get Zapier integrations, which allow you to channel information through hundreds of different apps depending on a number of criteria. That's really something you set up with Zapier, but Typeform is able to connect with that. So you might be able to have people answer your questions and then put it into Salesforce or something like that. Also, the basic version of Typeform gives you reports. That's analytics, charts, and graphs about the answers that you have. It allows you to export your data in CSV format, so you can analyze it in other programs. And then if you're feeling tricky, it also has a data API or application programming interface, which allows you to hook computer programs up directly with one another. It's a little sophisticated, but it's nice to know that functionality is included in the free version of Typeform. One of the really cool things is that the free version includes an unlimited number of forms. You can have as many surveys or questionnaires or assessments as you want. And it also includes an unlimited number of questions. You can have hundreds of questions if you have the patience to construct it. And so those resources are essentially unlimited. And truthfully, that's a fabulous thing. However, there's a catch. And it's that the basic version of Typeform is limited to 100 responses or people responding to your surveys per month. And you know, that's a little disappointing, but there are ways around that. Specifically, let's talk about the pro version of Typeform. Now, this is where you start having a bigger basket. Now, the pro version of Typeform includes all of the same features that the basic free version of Typeform does, and it adds on to it. Specifically, the pro version adds these things. It adds hidden fields. And what that is, it's a way of including information about people when they very first show up. So if you send out a link, and if you put some special information into that link, like the person's name or a course they've done or something they've purchased before, then when they come to the type form, that information can already be put in there and you don't have to ask them about it again. There's also a calculator, a way of scoring responses or of calculating prices when people are buying things. You can get rather sophisticated logic jumps where they skip over questions or they go one direction or another. You can have uploads. People can put files up to two gigabytes and submit them. You can accept payments through Stripe payment processing. You can also get respondent notification emails with the basic version, just you got them, but now they can get them too. And you also have the option of creating custom thank you screens, a way of formally wrapping up the form or the survey that you've created. And then finally, there's Pro Plus. And this is for the biggest baskets of all. And Pro Plus includes all of that stuff and adds on to it a few more things. Most importantly, it adds the ability to have multiple users in the same account in the same workspace, which of course allows them to collaborate on the type forms maybe not in real time, but they can all be there and access the same forms. It also removes the type form branding. So it takes their logo off and that's called whitelisting. You can get something called webhooks. Now this is again, some pretty sophisticated programming, but it's a way of connecting information and making the data that comes into your type form more sophisticated, as well as the things that you're able to send out. You're also able to have a redirect upon submit where you send people, for instance, to different web pages, depending on different scores they got or different things they did. 
you also get larger file uploads, four gigabytes as opposed to two gigabytes. Now, I do want to mention something else. I like to think of these as very special baskets. Specifically, Typeform offers special discounts for education, students, and teachers, and for nonprofit or non governmental organizations. And there are two discounts. First off, there's a monthly version. So normally, Typeform is $35 per month for the Pro version, $70 for the Pro Plus, but $35 per month for the Pro version. If you are in academia or if you're in a nonprofit, you get 25% off of that $35 per month, which works out to $26.25 per month. The yearly plan, you get an even bigger discount. Yearly plans are $350 for the Pro and $700 for the Pro Plus, but you, this time you get 40% off. And so that works out to $210 a year. Now, most people in education and nonprofits are pretty strapped for cash, but I got to tell you, this is so much cheaper than some of the other options like Qualtrics. And I think it's so user friendly and you can really learn to exploit some of the power you get in the Pro and the Pro Plus versions. But Typeform gives you the option of starting for free. You don't even have to log in, just go there and start noodling around with the templates and see what you can create. And this gives you the option to start right now.